Well, back in 1968, a group of uh, concerned citizens got together because they wanted to be able to um, check out employment for people yeah. with disabilities for in the community. So from that, uh, the uh, the 20 people got together, they started the Progressive Workshop, which at that time in 1968 was called the Sheltered Workshop of Armstrong County. And then... Uh, probably 1971-ish, 72-ish, they changed it to the Progressive Workshop of Armstrong County. Um, and then now, uh, we're still the Progressive Workshop of Armstrong County, but we're because we offer an array of services, uh, we kind of try to use PWAC so that you can, people know that we're more than just a sheltered workshop at this point. We have two different, uh, we have our employees of the Progressive Workshop and then we have our trainees who also work for the Progressive Workshop. So a trainee uh, would have to have a, an intellectual, a physical, or an emotional disability to be here. Um, and then our, our staff uh, would, minimum's a high school diploma and then that goes up. We have programs program teams that, uh, you know, would have to have a degree and whatnot. So, so it kind of goes up from there. We have... Uh, um, 120 or so uh, trainees and about 40 staff members. Well, I would say for our trainees, you know, who again I can consider our employees also, uh, they're here learning the skills that are going to help them uh, hopefully at some point uh, maintain employment in the community. Uh, so we're teaching them the job skills and whatnot, but not, not only are they getting that, they're getting uh, the, the camaraderie that comes from, you know, working with, with your friends and whatnot. Um, we try very hard to uh, keep them very active. I mean, thankfully, we have a, a lot of work to do, so, uh, and they're earning a paycheck, which is, you know, something that's fantastic for them to be able to do. because yeah. a lot of people when they see the name progressive workshop they uh, they think you know back to the days of a sheltered workshop uh, so they, that doesn't really exist anymore so we have uh, several different buildings we have our facility here on Oak Avenue we have a facility down on Water Street in Catanning um, we have a relationship with the County of Armstrong to run the recycling center uh, and that's been for about 20 years we've ran the recycling center the day-to-day -day operations um, and then uh, we also uh, so that those are all uh, pre, what would be considered pre vocational services so teaching the skills to, to get a job then last year we added a service called transitional work services so we have about 34 people who rotate in and out of that service. And what it is, is they actually, uh, those trainees actually are in the community all day long. They're working at various things. We have a lawn crew that we hold residential and commercial contracts for. Uh, we have um, janitorial crews that clean, you know, different places in, in the Catanning area. Um, we have a shredding program that we run actually out at the recycling center, but it's the tr it's transitional work services. Um, the unique thing about transitional work services is it's a, a one staff with three trainees, and all of the trainees make minimum wage. So, which is different than 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 here in in this building, they're paid uh, a piece rate. So each piece they do, they they get paid for. Okay. Um, then we also offer what's called supported employment. So supportive employment is when uh, somebody in the community, a business in the community, hires somebody with a disability, and we send along a job coach uh, to help train them yeah. for the, for whatever the job may be. Always with the with the thought in mind that we're going to back off the job coaching until the person is just like you or I, yeah. you know, working for a company and and receiving a paycheck just like anybody else. Um, we've actually very exciting and you guys helped with this with our signs we just opened a brand new program um, in West Catanning that's called the Adult Achievement Center and this is specifically for uh, younger adults 18 to 30 years old 30 years old who come out of high school and maybe aren't quite ready to go into the workforce um, so we have we teach them uh, live, daily living skill, skills and also educational achievement. We, it's a curriculum based program um, but also built into that is volunteer experiences in the community so that they know um, you know w what it's like to maybe work at a supermarket or volunteer yeah. uh, you know at a church or, or something like that. Um, so that really takes us from from the start 
to the end of you know the training all the way to a supportive employment in the in the community and you know we're always looking for um, members of our community to help us you know if you own a business and 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 have the ability to hire somebody uh, and you're willing to hire somebody with a disability uh, then then we can help Probably the first interaction I had was with Danielle, and it was uh, for tickets, I think. Uh, and then from there, it just kind of snowballed, and we've gotten, uh, we had a new logo done, and you guys printed our signs, uh, our new brochures, our letterhead, our envelopes, our fundraising things. Um, so in many, many different ways, uh, Miniman Press has been helpful to us. Good. We place them inside the bag and then we seal them and repackage them for uh, Walmarts or whoever would be receiving them from Slinky.